Some people wonder why I keep returning to Adhidhar Samraj and why, if you like, I promote this practice. Yes, as a, as a person, he was very offensive. Yes, as a person, he would do many things that are, are seemingly egoic. Yes, there's much cause due to what he did for many people to consider him to be not who he says he was, i.e. the divine person. There's many people who object, who are offended, many. But it's the practice of turning away from oneself, of self-forgetting, God-remembering. That very practice is what I promote. I couldn't care two hoots about anything secondary to that. As he has said right from the outset, everything is secondary to this primary practice. I, if you like the word promotion, is used in many areas of life, why not here? I promote the practice. I do not promote the secondary practices, the secondary disciplines. I only promote this discipline of turning away from oneself. It's not easy. It really isn't. It's so much easier, so much far easier to be a victim of the body-mind than to transcend it. Transcendence is this practice. It's as simple as that. It's a hard communion, communion to that state of already happiness, joy, delight. Never born, never died. That's what I promote. And if turning to Adidas Samraj, a picture of him, does it for me, then that does it for me. And I can say it will do it for everybody. He's an agent. An agent there, ready to be received as love bliss, as joy, as delight. Already happiness is what's on offer, if you like, in this relationship. There's a guy called W. Thomas, I assume it's a guy. Don't know whether W stands for Winifred or William or whatever. He's always saying to me, often on and off, over the last few years, why, oh, why, oh, why do you keep giving your attention to Adidas Sambaj? He was this, that and the other. He was a B, a right B. He would use the word fuck and all that business. Because he sees Adidas as being a um, manipulator. Um, he sees Adida uh, as being someone who is a false, well, a wolf. What was it called? A, I don't know <laughs> what words to describe what, what Adida because I don't see Adida like that. I see someone who was able to live as God intends, a free man. He took risks, he was courageous. No, he wasn't, he didn't take risks, he wasn't courageous. That's, that's the nature of being as he was. It wasn't an egoic courage, it was a, automatically, if you like, courageous. Is part of the characteristic of God. God is already courageous, already free, already taking risks, as it were. It's the self-contraction that prevents God from living freely, happily, joyously, with great power and energy with great confidence.
God already embraces all and all. God is already joy, delight, free of pain, free of anguish, free of doubt, free of boredom. God is already the fruits of the Spirit. God is our true state and as far as I am concerned or what the phrase should be, turning to Adida in that relationship brings forward that which I already am. This body mind is transformed. It's a heart relationship. There's no mind in it. There's no dilemma in it. It's just pure and simple love. And then everything is a bridge to God. Everything becomes only God. You only need a bridge if you're not on the right side. Once you're there, you don't need any bridges. But you notice the, the results of the self-contraction and you use the bridge. You use the agent. And then you find yourself back in that place of already happiness, joy, delight, intimacy. That's what it's all about, it's intimacy. And dark. Joy is a joy to be alive. It's a joy to be with others, so-called. It's a joy to walk down the street. It's a joy to do anything in the conditional world. I have nothing, I have no qualms about what I say. It authenticates itself, this practice. Don't believe me, have it proven to yourself by practicing this radical teaching. It's radical, radical because it goes against the uh, against the usual patternings and click clack. It goes against the grain. Da, da, become God, become your true self, which you already are. Be relieved of the ego that prevents God from living you. It's a practice to be done at every moment of the day. You see your tendency to separate, you see your tendency to sin, you see the tendencies that are not about love, happiness, joy. Tendencies to always take you away from being intimate with the conditions of life. Open hand or clenched fist. It's as simple as that. This or this. Duh.